In this video, I'm going to show you alternate mouse behaviors in Reaper. Now, alternative mouse behaviors is a newer feature added to Reaper 7. If you're using an older version, you're not going to have this functionality. But by default, if we left drag in the timeline, it's going to grab our items and move them as we move our mouse. Select this one, move it left and right, move it down to the side and back. And that's the default for left dragging in our timeline. But we could also use right drag. If I right drag over here, I can marquee select any items I want. Do it in here, marquee select these items or these, just by right dragging and selecting those items. Then we can move them with the default behavior by left dragging. We could also create razor edits, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag to create a razor edit of a section we want. We could delete it. We could move it. We could duplicate it very easily. But those last two behaviors require right drag. And for some of us, right drag could be a bit awkward. We're left dragging is a bit easier. That's where these two buttons come in. The first one turns on marquee select. Notice the animation shows up. Now I can go over here and left drag. That's going to create a marquee selection. Over here, over here, and over here. Then we can turn it off and go back to our default behavior. Where we could drag our items that easily. And we can do the same thing with this toolbar button. Click it for razor editing. Notice the animation shows up. And now, while left dragging, we can create a razor edit. We could delete it. We could duplicate it. We could turn it off right here. And now we're back to the default behavior. Where we can move our items side to side, up and down, all over. And that's the purpose of these two new toolbar buttons. We can do everything using left drag. Now, as I mentioned, when we turn them on, the toolbar buttons animate, letting us know they're on as kind of a warning in case we turn them on by mistake. If we're dragging over here, and we don't know why we're creating razor edits, we can see over here that razor editing is turned on. But if you find these animations annoying, we could right click, Go to Customize Toolbar. Go down here to these two options. These are these options right here. Right click them. Go to Highlight with Animation and choose Do Not Animate. Hit Apply. And now, if we turn on this button, it doesn't animate the toolbar button if you find that annoying. But we could also choose some other options. We could animate if toggle state is disabled instead of enabled. We could change the animation to be armed, which will look like this, a bit more annoying, but more obvious. We could choose slow blink or fast blink, which looks like this. But let's put it back to its default right here. And now when we click it, it animates like this, letting us know we turned on this feature or function. Now, a whole bunch of mouse modifiers change when we choose these buttons. And we can see that if we go to our preferences, Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac, scroll down to Editing Behavior and Mouse Modifiers, make sure we choose Arrange View and Right Drag. This is the default when the toolbar buttons are not chosen. And it's based on right drag, as you can't choose left drag over here. But we could change it to range view override A, override B, C, or D. Override A will be used when we choose this button, where it'll marquee select our items. But with modifiers, there's a bunch of other options we could choose from. And we could change them to anything we want. And if we choose override B, this is based on razor edits, and it'll be used when we choose this button. So you could change it 
based on the modifiers over here, or its default action over here. And again, we can customize it to anything we want. And it's going to change when we choose these different toolbar buttons. But we could also choose override C and D, which are currently unassigned, but we could add some to our toolbar right here just by adding from the actions over here A, B, C, and D. We can just add these to our toolbar and choose different overrides if we want. So we could choose C, which is set up for fixed lane comping, or D, which you can customize completely and just trigger it with a toolbar button, or we could use keyboard shortcuts. So let's go to our actions, type into the filter override mouse, and here are the actions we can choose from. Most likely for a keyboard shortcut, we would use the toggle actions. So if we choose this one, add a keyboard shortcut to this, from marquee selections, do another for this, for razor editing, now we could use these keyboard shortcuts to trigger that behavior. Close it, turn these off, hit the keyboard shortcut, which turns on marquee select. Now we can marquee select our items just like this. And instead of turning it off over here, hit the keyboard shortcut again, and that turns off that behavior. So I can move the items as we want. And we can do the same thing for razor editing. Hit that keyboard shortcut. It turns on razor editing. Now we can create a razor edit. We could delete it. We could duplicate it or we'll just move it. And we're done. Hit the keyboard shortcut again. And it turned off razor editing. So we're back to moving our items like this. Now we could also make this behavior temporary meaning once we use it once, it'll go back to the default afterwards. Let's right click, customize toolbar, and instead of using these two actions, double click, change the action, and we could use this action instead. Override mouse modifiers A until next mouse up. So we move our mouse up, it'll revert to the default behavior. And do the same with B until next mouse up. Select and close it. Now we have these actions instead that are gonna turn off after a mouse up, which means they're gonna work temporarily. Let's add the other buttons for marquee select and for razor editing, hit okay. Now it shows up the same way with animation turning on, but now the behavior will be temporary. So if we marquee select over here, as soon as we let go, it turns this function off. So now I can drag it around, left and right, up and down, and it behaves with a default behavior. Do the same with razor editing. We can create a razor edit. And now razor editing is turned off and it's back to its default behavior. And we can move our items left and right, up and down, as you want. And we do the same thing with our keyboard shortcuts. Instead of using these keyboard shortcuts, we could use these. Now the keyboard shortcut will work the same way, but also temporarily. Hit the first one, it turns on marquee select, so you can marquee select some items. And then it turns it off as soon as you moved our mouse back up. And I can move the items left and right, up and down, all over, and do the same with razor editing. Hit the keyboard shortcut, razor editing is turned on. We can create a razor edit, and now razor editing is turned off. So I can move the razor edit or the items around it as it's back. So the left drag default behavior. So that's pretty much it. That's the alternative mouse behaviors in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. 
Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.